welcome to the soul of Chef Jenna Soul. We're going to come to you. My producers told me, put some soul into your thing, Chef. That bang, bang to the boogie, it's okay, but you're the soul man. How about that? So we're going to introduce you to the soul of life, and we just want to welcome you to another show, an exciting show here. Don't forget, young chefs, young cooks, use your gloves when you're serving people hot food, hot, cold food, cold. We have our pans heating up right here. Today we have a delicious, a delicious, a delicious meal for you coming from the pantry of the city of Cleveland. And here's what we want to do for you today. We want to offer you a different idea of how you prepare your food and how you cook your food. So when you go to the pantry, to the pantry, uh, uh, you get your food from the church and everything. They give you a lot of canned food. They give you some uh, vegetables and everything. So what we have done is we took some carrots from the pantry. We took some, I need to say, salmon from the pantry. We took it out the can, and this is that pink salmon. You don't know what pink salmon is. Pink salmon comes up. It's not Norwegian, but it comes up in Canada. So it's nice, and it's mild, and it's not as strong. We have some tomatoes here, and we have some, like, Epicurean vegetable rice with the vegetables with the peas and everything in there. We have a little spinach. We have a little bit of cantaloupe. Now, I wouldn't know what that was because I don't eat cantaloupe, but I'm learning to eat it. And we have some corn on the cob here. And this is the season for that because they're going to have uh, clam bakes and everything. And I cut that corn on a bias. You see that? Once you cook it, you can cut it. And, and that's because the hole is real uh, uh, soft on you. So right here we have our oil. We're gonna put it in the pan. You, you hear that pan? Just a little bit. Bang. Okay. We got the fan on because we're in a um, we're not really in a test kitchen. And and boss lady, you can put the fan this way if you like. Uh, the producers are gonna do the fan, and we have our warm skillets here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take. A little bit of, I didn't use flour in my, uh, I didn't use flour in mine, okay? I'm going to turn that off for a minute. What I did was I used mashed potatoes, so it expands it and enlarges it. At the same time, it doesn't give you that gritty consistency. We want to put a little bit of onions and peppers in there. That's going to be our mirepoix, okay? And that goes good with salmon. The peppers bring out a great flavor. So we're going to take a spoon of that right here, okay? And we're going to do and make a patty out of it, okay? we got a ball there, nice little patty, okay? Shape it real nice. We put an egg in there, too. Don't forget, you put an egg, you put the flour in there, and you put the breadcrumbs in there, and that gives you that firmness, okay? I hit it with a little bit of cayenne pepper instead of black pepper. I use a little bit of garlic. I'm not going to tell you the name of it. You go in the store and find what you need. It'll work for you. We're doing a whole can of salmon, which consists of, uh, I believe I would say, two cups. That's 32 ounces of salmon. We're going to expand it with flour or meal or whatever you use. And we're going to be able to feed a family of four off of one can of salmon, okay? So we're going to put a little bit of breadcrumbs on there. If you can see me down here, I'm gonna hold it up for you. Just a little bit of breadcrumbs. And it's more like a, it's a patty, but it's more like a croquette. And a croquette is the same as a patty, but a patty can be thinner. A croquette can be a little bit larger. We'll put it in a skillet, and you hear that? That's how you want your saute pans to be very nice and warm, okay? So now, we're gonna pause for one second. We're going to come back right quick. You paused. You good. You paused. You're good. Okay, 
we're right back at you on the show. Are we ready? Producers right back on the show. We took a station identification break right quick. And let me show you this. We have our salmon uh, croquette right in here. Now, I didn't actually bring my spatula, but once you get a firmness on there, you can flip that over. You see that? Wow, that looks very nice, Chef. And this is panko breading. And it's, it's a combination of panko breading. It's a combination of dry flake mashed potatoes, okay? And that's what we want to, we want to change some of the things that our parents did. So right here, we're going to mix, we're going to do our vegetable, okay? Because it's lunchtime, we need a vegetable with our food. And we're going to put some tomatoes in here, okay? And this is going to be like an Italian dish, okay? A little bit of tomatoes. We're going to put a little bit of spinach in there. Here we go. You can hit that with white wine or whatever you choose to do, okay? You've got that working. Remember, you got to watch both pans, young chefs, when you're cooking. Make sure you turn that fire down. Now, this salmon croquette here doesn't have to go in the oven because in the can, the product is already cooked, okay? So we're going to toss this up just a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of dry garlic to that. You can use fresh garlic if you like. Put a little bit of heat to that. We're going to put a little bit of cayenne pepper to that. The choice is yours. Toss it up just a little. And don't forget to add a few carrots to that, okay? Right here, okay? Hit it with a little bit of oil one more time. Move it around. Chef gave us all. Bang! Cooking in the hood. Doing it for you today. Okay, so we have our everything together. Ooh, that tastes good. Wonderful, Chef. Watch out, baby. Move it around. Got a little heat in there. Don't. That's that cayenne pepper. Don't use, please, by all means, don't use uh, metal in these Teflon coating pans, okay? Because you don't want to mess these pans up, all right? So right here we have our best. Turn the fire off. Here's our best. We're going to do this a la carte style, okay? Kind of like a la carte. It's not going to be completely a la carte. But we're going to do it a little bit a la carte. Okay. Make sure you wipe your pan off, keep the sanitation bucket at the station 40, and then put some more oil in there. You don't want the pan to taste just like the other. You don't want to cross-contaminate. That's the word we use it in the culinary field, okay? So we're going to turn... Let's stand it up one more time. We're going to take our rice and turn it up one more time. Got the salmon cooking real nice. You hear that? Every time something touches that, that, that uh, saute skillet, it should sound just like that. We're going to put all that rice in there. We're not saving it. You know, we're going to go ahead and use up the entire product. There we go. We got the rice cooking. Bang! Check this out. Now we're going to show you something that's going to be very, very, very nice. Okay, we got our salmon here. We'll toss it up one more time. Toss it up one more time. Now, a lot of people say, I want mine to be nice and golden. It can be, but crab cakes aren't always nice and golden. They have a nice crisp uh, texture to them and a nice color, okay? So right here we have our rice. And this is our like Epicurean rice. Epicurean rice is rice from Greece, Greek, and they put a lot of different things in Epicurean rice. They put food in there, they put uh, vegetables in there, and you can do that. So we got our little teriyaki sauce for the Epicurean rice. Bang! Right there, Chef, do it big, baby, do it big. We are no sad radio, we're cooking in the hood for you. Chef Taylor Soul, that is our sponsor, and we're going to do it big for you. Right here, turn the fire off, turn the fire off here, and 
what we're going to do here is take this salmon croquette and put it on top of that plate right here. Now, are you guys with me? Remember I said no cross-contamination. Wipe that pan out one more time. You normally do this when you're working in a fast production restaurant. Turn the fire up one more time. Reach over. And this is how it works on an assembly line in a restaurant. Put that corn there. You hear that skillet? Once again, it, got, it must stay hot. If it's not hot, you're not cooking, and you're not uh, getting the efficiency uh, from the pan and the heat. Here we go. We're going to steam that corn just a little bit right here, right here on the shelf. Ready on the set. We got that ready for you right here. So we're coming right back at you. Last but not least, we're going to put a little bit of our epicurean rice on the side. I'm going to show you this. We're over at the table over here now. We do have a bigger table. We're going to put all that rice on there. Wonderful, 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 chef. Wonderful. Okay, we got the rice there. I'm going to put it right here so you guys can see the rice. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Right here, we're going to take our corn. And it's, it's, uh, it's a finished product. It's done, that corn. We're going to take this corn, and we're going to put that corn right here, okay? We have our corn, we have our rice, and to the boogie, to the boogie, to the soul, to the boogie. So we're right here, and we're almost finished, okay? So we'll take our garnish, and we'll put our garnish on the plate, and the garnish shouldn't cost no more than five cents, okay? And the product that you use, guess what? It must be edible. We'll take a little lemon, and we'll put that lemon right here. Here's our garnish. And don't forget we have our sauce, like a ramala. I made this. This is a tartar ramala sauce. Put a little bit of ketchup in there, and I want to show you how we're going to do this. We're going to take it, and our producer is going to taste this right in front of you. She's going to come right here after she go get her spoon over here. You know, please, let's go, producer. Our producer wants to let you know that we're not going to be eating behind the scene. We're right in your face. We want you to know that Chef Jay the Soul is cooking in the hood, and this is his show. And if you like to come on the show, you got to give us a call at No Static Radio. Go to YouTube, Facebook. Instagram, but most of all, YouTube. We're on YouTube, No Static Radio, and we're cooking in the hook for you. Take a look at that product. Take a look at that product. Now, our producer is going to come right up in front of you. She has her fork, and she's going to let you know what chef just cooked. Did it taste like anything? There you go, producer. Here, let me let them Thank you so much. Tell them what it do. Tell them what it do. Mm. Here's a close up look of our delicious plate. That looks Absolutely divine. I love salmon croquet. All right now. So, of course, like he said, we have the vegetables, the carrots, the tomatoes, the spinach, little lemon, little garnish, and that delicious salmon croquet with that delicious sauce. I can't wait to taste. Woo. You guys. Listen, and we're going to come right back at you. She wants to taste that right in front of you and let you know how that tastes. We need to see what that banging like. Oh, nice. Crispy. Oh my God, put a little spinach on there too, yeah. What is that taste? Oh, mm. oh my. Now when she tastes that, I taste it. And I need to let you know that it was so flavorful that when she said, mm, I got full. We're gonna be coming right back at you next Wednesday. Join us at 11 o'clock. We're here at 11 o'clock, No Static Radio. This is our producer, tell them who you are, honey. Hello, I'm your producer. Marie, better known as Decisive, here on No Static Radio, also Decisive Media. Are your voice in the revolution? We don't bring our static over. Shouldn't bring the noise. Woo! Bring the noise! <laughs> we want you guys to stay tuned every Wednesday, you guys. Look for us anywhere from 11 to 1 p.m. You know, because the chef moves like that, so we have to work with them. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Check you. us out. Check us out. Only the best. Only the best. Healthy. And we're cooking from the pantries. We're cooking from all the pantries yep. in the city of Cleveland. Yep. From the food, food bank, bank, all yep. of that. We're doing this right here for you. 